Aloha. Welcome everyone. Oh my goodness. It's so good to see see y'all here and be here. I haven't done anything special for just Instagram in a while, so welcome, welcome. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. I've got a different microphone. <sighs> Let's all take a deep breath together. How does that sound? You can put your hands at heart center and inhale. Fill up and exhale, let go, inhale, breathe in the light, and exhale, let it go, release, one more time. Inhale, biggest breath yet. And exhale. Let go completely. Release. Be here now. Aloha. I'm Taylor. And I'm the creator of Flower of Healing, Reiki, Unifying Holistic Health and Spiritual Awakening. After many years as a holistic health coach and being on my own health and healing journey and finding Reiki and adding Reiki energy techniques into my healing journey and my healing work. I've been developing a new type of Reiki that is unifying these two areas that can sometimes be kept separate, but really what I've been seeing and noticing is that they need to be unified and they're meant to work together, having a really healthy, radiant, vibrant, vital physical container to hold and share and allow all these beautiful higher frequencies that so many of us more and more people are tapping into all the time all the time so welcome everyone aloha i appreciate you being here it's kind of a spontaneous on the fly just felt like coming on this morning had had a very strong desire so here we are and I hope you're all having a beautiful day and if you have any questions about holistic health about Reiki spiritual awakening I would love to have some interaction with you about that because that's what I'm interested in. <laughs> that's all I want to think about, talk about, be engaged in is really tending holistic health, supporting my own holistic health, the well-being of myself, others, the earth, and you know, really, really, again, the light is like blasting from behind me. I hope y'all are <laughs> You're picking up on that. Because really, I mean, what is available to humans right now in terms of high frequencies is just stunning. And, you know, having some ways, some means to tap into that and plug into that is just so necessary right during this this time when you know a lot of things externally may look like chaotic and uncertain um, really the internal atmosphere can remain calm and centered and 
peaceful with some training with some openness with uh with some practice you know a lot of what is being shown to me it's not it's really simple stuff <laughs> but it's like the most simple things can really make a big difference so i wanted to share with all of you something i'm offering tomorrow to really support being that calm, centered, grounded, peaceful presence, no matter what externally is going on. Because also, I mean, some of you might be paying attention to astrology or, you know, you're just sensitive, intuitive, empathic. And like, this is a really sensitive time right now. This is cancer, new moon, cancer moon cycle, cancer season. And cancer is the zodiac sign associated with, you know, the inner child and home and roots. And it's ruled by the moon and the moon is our emotions, our feelings. So this can be a really sensitive time when you know, emotions can be triggered and very uh, present at the forefront, <laughs> unable to like, you know, hide from. So yeah, Maldo, beautiful namaste, brother. Thank you for being here. Wishing everyone a peaceful and wonderful week ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So tomorrow, I'm offering a Flower of Healing group Reiki experience, and I've included the link in the, the chat, in the link if you're watching this later on, it's in the description. But this is something that, you know, you don't need any kind of Reiki experience to attend, and if you can't make it, it's a live on, on Zoom, it's a live group event. But it is recorded, so it's something that <laughs> Reiki recordings, y'all, <laughs> they're phenomenal. <laughs> Energy does not care about linear time and whether you can show up live or not. That's more of about our perception. The recordings of these these events, these meditations of energy work, they work. <laughs> they work really well. <laughs> They are phenomenal. So even if you can't attend the event tomorrow, th the recording will be given to you. And it's a, it's a small donation to be able to come. So I really encourage you if you're feeling some, you know, some need for supporting your peacefulness, your calmness, your centeredness, your relaxation, flower of healing energy is phenomenal. I've never experienced anything like it had tastes of it uh, before during like my deepest meditation experiences, um, certain Reiki trainings and experiences I've had, I would drop into this pure consciousness space. Um, but with Flower of Healing Energy, since this energy really came to me and did an attunement process with me in my energy field, it's like any time I activate it and work with it and I allow myself to lay down and receive it fully, it's complete samadhi, pure bliss, consciousness, relaxation. Like I've never, it consistently, you know, not like sporadically, consistently. And that's really been the feedback from other people who are experiencing this new Reiki energy as well. So if that sounds appealing to you, <laughs> deeply relaxing rejuvenating and you know with reiki it's a japanese technique for stress reduction and relaxation that promotes healing you may be like how does that promote healing if you're just feeling relaxed well that that relaxation state that's you know the brain shifts into a different kind of wave form frequency maldo probably knows a lot about that <laughs> the brain brainy yoga uh but the brain shifts into a different 
frequency, you know, it can really be coming into attunement with the heart and the electromagnetic field. And when we're in that deep, deep, deep relaxation state, like sleep, that's when the whole body can heal itself. <laughs> that's when everything can be reordered. I mean, people like readjusted, realigned back to that perfect order is what I mean by the reordering. Um, back to that, that perfect harm, harmonic functioning of the body, the human vehicle, the human instrument. And, and it's, it's really incredible what can happen when going into those states. And of course, finding that peace and that relaxation uh, within oneself during such times of so many things, again, uncertain and like what's happening, right? Things shifting and changing to just keep coming back to center and, and receiving whatever healing is needed and the empowerment and the, the revealing. So these, these very deeply relaxed states, something I wanted to say about that too, people will fast, you know, a lot of y'all are coming here, finding me through fasting, healing, detoxing, you know, raw food, raw vegan, that kind of thing. And the whole, the whole reason people fast it is for that deep rest state, okay? I'm not saying Reiki is a substitute for, for fasting, but it is the quality of rest that can happen when the body slows down completely and is not dealing with a bunch of, you know, in, inputs. Inputs! Look over here! Look over there! Ah! Right? When the body and the mind and everything, every part of you, however you conceptualize or conceive of, you know, your your different layers, your bodies, your aspects, your parts, uh, when all of that can just come to center and relax and rest. The, the relaxation state is the baseline state for all, all types of healing, realizations, insights, connecting the dots. <laughs> and some people, you know, they just completely like, I have to wake them up and that's beautiful, you know, that... That's a really beautiful uh, part of Reiki too, is um, having Reiki put you to sleep. <laughs> it's like no more. So that is what's going on. That's what I'm offering. And, and like I said, that's tomorrow. And the invocation, the technique. So each time I do one of these group experiences, it is a different technique that I'm using, working with Flower of Healing Reiki Energy specifically. And the technique I'm using tomorrow is a very awesome one for healing, for spiritual awakening, and it has to do with Amrita, which maybe some of you have heard about that. Comment below if you've heard about Amrita. Amrita. Amrita also sometimes called Soma or Ambrosia, Nectar of the Gods, Food of the Gods, Elixir of Youthfulness, of Eternal Youth, but not like in a potion or pill form that is a physical item you're having to take something outside of yourself that comes in a bottle. The, the essence of Amrita is that it's something that is produced by the own sacred, incredibly intelligent, divine intelligence of each of our human bodies. Each of our human bodies is able to produce this Amrita. Welcome everyone coming in. I appreciate you being here. 
So, Amrita is something that has been sought after for long, long, long time. Long time, long history, many traditions, many cultures, many peoples uh, working with this. And what is being revealed to me is that Flower of Healing can actually uh, bring this Amrita to people, even without having, you know, years and years of specific mudra practice. Is it's typically it, there's like a kachari mudra that's taught to do the tongue going to the roof of the mouth and like up, which of course that works. <laughs> the more I learn about this, these yogic practices and also have my own soul memories come through, it's like all the yogic practices definitely work. Uh, the flower of healing is offering access to this. Uh, this beautiful fountain of youth within ourselves, uh, within within us. I mean, how cool is that? This is really like understanding the human technology and what these vessels are, are capable of is extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. So, yes, the technique tomorrow will be focused on Amrita and invoking Amrita and allowing allowing Amrita to be present to everyone who's receiving the Reiki even if you don't have years of yogic training and meditation practice and even if you're not necessarily perceiving it you know that's what's so beautiful this uh this Reiki energy works and it's just to the degree that we're open to receive it and we're able and willing and desiring to perceive the results of of Reiki. So, really wonderful. I hope you'll join me tomorrow if that resonates, if you're feeling like you, you're, you're wanting to uplift your holistic health, you're wanting to uplift and, and give some f- some fuel you know fill your cup fill your cup up during this time so because i know each of you are really caring a lot for the well-being of yourselves uh and the earth and and humanity so it's really really important for each of us who do have a lot of love and care for the earth and for humanity, and for the future of the earth, and humanity on the earth, to remember to receive. It's so important to receive. It's just as important to receive as it is to give. Right? Think of the cycles of nature. Think of even just your own breath. It's not just exhale, exhale, exhale. (laughs) Our own breath or inhaling, receiving, and we're exhaling, giving. So I encourage you if you're feeling like you need to fill your cup up. And it's okay to feel like you need to fill your cup. That's called being in tune with yourself and your own needs. And, you know, take it from someone who, with a history of overgiving and not having, not receiving enough, right? Just give, 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 give. But the more I can lean into this receive part of the equation, the better my giving is the more full, fully and high quality and completely cleanly and purely I can give when my receive is full and open and tended and loved and cared for. So come receive if you would like and it's, it's open to everyone no Reiki experience required. Everybody is welcome. Everyone is welcome. 
whatever your spiritual beliefs are, whatever your background is, uh, whatever, 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 <laughs> everybody is welcome. You come as you are. The only requirement is openness to receive positive results. Have a beautiful day and happy first quarter moon tomorrow. It's the time to take action. What will you choose to do to support your well-being, the well-being of the earth, the well-being of humanity, and far beyond? The choice is yours. Mahalo.